Welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol in the top right hand corner. This week begins so dramatically. Not only does Venus prepare to make its way into the sign of Capricorn, which occurs on Tuesday, we also still have Mars in opposition to Uranus. This combination creates a, an awful lot of electricity. Mars is impulsive, it's impatient, and in the sign of Scorpio, it's about desire. Uranus on the other side of the heavens in the sign of Taurus is about bringing innovation to our approach to self-worth and also money. So when it comes to resources, we could find ourselves feeling more impulsive. Then again, it could be around a romantic situation where there's an electric intensity that pushes us perhaps to do something in the moment rather than necessarily thinking about it. Venus moving into Capricorn is though a very stabilizing transit. By the end of this week, it's inching closer towards Ceres, the asteroid that's to do with nurture. And in the sign of Capricorn, this combination can be a stabilizing antidote to the electricity that Mars and Uranus are creating. And also Venus itself, starts to link brilliantly with Uranus. So this can be a time when we can be a little bit more uh, creative in our approach to situations, but also it points towards being open-minded about the type of person or people we can find interesting to be with. Of course, Venus and Mars are then forging a lovely sextile from the middle of this week through to the end of the week, which can be so enhancing for all relationships. But there is a new moon which occurs on Tuesday too in the sign of Sagittarius. And that's asking us all to be open-minded, free-spirited, to embrace the more individualistic side of our nature. And also just perhaps think about the way in which we can add greater variety to our existence. However, by the end of the week, Saturn and Pluto are getting closer together. It's a four degree gap. Usually I take into account three degrees, but that's just reminding us of the awesome power of this combination, which are watching over all of the events beneath them, if you like, in terms of the more interactive personal, uh, personal planets. But I do feel that this week can be a week of excitement, a week of drama, and it can be on the relationship front. It could be about our approach to resources or business or the type of people that we spend time with. But the one thing it's not going to be is dull. Your specific forecast, Cancer, is just so exciting. Yes, there is a new moon in quite a practical part of your scope, which asks you over the next four weeks to grapple with nitty gritty issues, making sure that everything's running smoothly in your world. But because you are so often skilled at managing resources, I think this could just see you thinking about health, fitness, diet, lots of small details that are important to the big picture. But I think what's really going to be grabbing your attention this week is much more likely to be your connections to others. And some of these can be moving very quickly. For example, with Mars in opposition to Uranus still this week, things can be very restless, both in terms of your time management, but also your yearnings, where you suddenly want to connect with someone. It could surprise even you. And with Venus moving into your sector of relating, bring in greater uh, diplomacy and harmony into key relationships could be something that strongly calls out to you. The way you go about this with Mars itself forging a beautiful link to Venus and Venus linking back to Uranus again suggests this could be a change of approach. Your long-term future at the moment just seems to be shifting all the time but it's not in a way which is particularly unsettling, I feel. I feel it can actually be in totally enlivening if you can go with the flow. 
if you want Klingon to exactly how it used to be, this week could perhaps be more challenging. But I think generally, as Venus advances forwards and meets with Ceres in your sector of related, Ceres, the asteroid of nurture, there is an opportunity to bring some healing to a relationship situation, or you may find yourself so much in demand through that social world could be one standout relationship that starts to grip you more than any other. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.